Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel, Yasu's Universe. It's me, Yansu. Welcome new viewers and subscribers. Welcome back existing viewers and subscribers. So Capricorn, this is going to be your general June 2022 reading. Um, we're going to talk about love, money, career, finances, whatever messages come from the tarot. Thank you so much for being here. A free way to support our channel is to like this video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, donate. Um, you can comment and we'll jump into it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what messages do you have for Capricorn? This is for Capricorn, June 2022. Let's get the overall energy for you. Capricorn, I have a bird. Okay. So you might hear him. Yeah, I know. So a time to give rather than take. Maybe somebody is asking you to be more giving, Capricorn. What's the overall energy for Capricorn June 2022? You got a lot coming out, Capricorn. Bring love into the situation. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Be more loving, more giving, more open. Because, yeah, you're, a new romantic cycle is approaching. Nothing is yet set in stone. A time for healing. So there's a lot going on. A time to give. Nothing is yet set in stone. So there's still work that needs to be done. Healing. There's a new romantic cycle. So just be more loving. Nothing is yet set in stone. What I'm getting is, you know, give, give them their flowers while they're there. Vice versa. They need to give you your flowers while you're there. People should feel appreciated, especially if you do appreciate them. If you appreciate them, let them know. If they appreciate you, you should let them know. Um, vice versa. If they appreciate you, they should let you know, my bad. But yeah. Bring more love into the situation. Tell me more for a time to give rather than take. Let's see if I can get messages for that. This it still came out again. A time to give rather than take, and then adjustments are required. So, so be more open to changing. Be more open to adjusting. Be more open and vulnerable, giving to yourself. You should be dealing with the Virgo and Aquarius. I'm sorry, y'all. You need to stop. You need to stop. I'm sorry, y'all. He's just a baby. So okay. what's going on for Capricorn in their love life for June 2022? Forgiving and learning. Yeah, bringing more love into the situation. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal from the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Pay attention to the red flags came out like that. Let your friends help you. So I'm what, and then release your ex. What I'm seeing is possibly one of your friends. You may need to keep them at a distance. Maybe they are asking you to forgive them, but. It's up to you what you want to do. I'm not saying don't forgive them, but that don't mean everything's going to be the as it used to be. Maybe somebody's asking you to give them another chance. Mm -hmm. Let's see what messages come out with the tarot. Could be dealing with some Aries. A time to give rather than take. And then bring love into the situation this is for capricorn june 2022 i'll do a bonus reading for you guys i'm sorry three of pentacles five of wands yeah there's there may have been some conflict in regard to friends family members co-workers i'm getting somebody one of your friends is getting too close to your partner or something like that. One of your friends is getting too close to your boyfriend or your girlfriend or something like that. Yeah, the 
five of pentacles a lot of fives i saw another five the five of cups you really need to stop okay we got three fives out already five of cups five of pentacles five of wands you need to stop canary Queen of Wands. So are you and your friends competing over the same person? Is this person trying to talk to you and your friends? Like, what's going on here? Two of Pentacles. High Priestess. Eight of Cups. Ten of Swords. It's just a lot of endings. Then... The Seven of Swords, Ten of Wands, Endings, Backstabbing, Betrayal, um, Lying, Cheating, Stealing, Sneaking, Secrets. Like, what? what is going on, Capricorn? I think, I feel like this is why Spirit is telling you to bring more love into the situation and the time to give rather than take. Because I don't know what type of negativity or toxicity has been going on in regard to this fire sign or this Queen of Wands or this woman, whoever it is, this feminine. But, like... It's so toxic. Clarify the Queen of Wands. This may be you. You like the Page of Pentacles. It's you. You got people competing for you, fighting over you, and it's like a lot of drama and chaos. Forgiving and learning. So maybe you just got a little too carried away is what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it you getting a little too carried away, Capricorn. And spirit telling you, okay, come back. Come back to reality. Come back to earth. Forgive and learn the situation. Maybe you're asking someone to forgive you and you're trying to be more loving. Because I feel like somebody has been going based off of, well, I look good, so I should get whatever I want. Or something like that. Or I got good dick, so I could get I should get whatever I want. Or vice versa. I don't know what what it is, what this is. So you could be dealing with an earth sign, an Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We got a lot of fives, so a lot of change. Let me pull another message for you guys. I'm just gonna pull another message. What's going on for Capricorn in June 2022? There's a personal issue that's going to reach resolution. So that it's, it has nothing to do with anybody else. It has something to do with you. It's a personal issue. Okay. What's going on in Capricorn's love life June 2022? Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. And then we have new love at the bottom of the deck is what you don't expect. So a personal issue reaches resolution. You could be dealing with the cancer. Um, this person wants you to trust them. You may want this person to trust you. You're going through some type of change, metamorphosis. It needs to be more healing. For Capricorn, June 2022. All right. The Empress. There we go. That's a lot better. You could be dealing with the Libra, the world, the Wheel of Fortune. Look at this beautiful energy. The Two of Swords. Give me one more. The Ten of Pentacles, beautiful energy with the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck and judgment right here. So what I see is there's a big shift, a big change after 
whatever the hell that was in the first spread is resolved and fixed and you put more love into yourself, your relationships, your situations. It's like people start trusting you again. People start coming around again. You start receiving that love that you've been craving. So I feel like the first spread um, could have been a cry for attention from you, Capricorn, or this person. Maybe you didn't know that that's what you were doing. Maybe that you didn't know that you what you were needing was more love. People to pour into you, speak positively to you. What you didn't know was that you just needed a friend. You just needed help. So now that that's been fixed, changed, rearranged, you pouring love into yourself, you've blown up and turned into the Empress. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor and there's a new cycle with the Wheel card. You're closing out old cycles, trusting people. Clarify what this trust is. Yeah, because this was a personal issue. Capricorn, it didn't have anything to do with others. It was all about you. Trust. Then we got the Queen of Cups. Trust your heart. Trust your intuition. Or trust this water sign. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. It's a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus that wants you to trust them. Could be a Cancer strong because Cancer's right here. A personal issue reaches resolution. You're not so trusting. You're not. And that's okay. Shit. Boundaries is a good thing. So, but I'm seeing a big change for you. Okay? A really big change. And you're going to be loving it. You're really going to be loving it. The Ten of Pentacles is long-term happiness, long-term stability. You you got money. You can take care of yourself. The family's good. Here you are, Capricorn. You might cut the deck. So you can be dealing with the Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sag. Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Cancer. Um, this is all I have for you. I'm going to end it here just because my bird keeps um, yelling. I do apologize again. But thank you so much for coming back to my channel. You can like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, leave me a love donation, book a personal reading with me. Donate to the channel. Check the description box as well. Um, I'll see you guys later. Check out all of the all signs readings. And until I see you guys again, y'all be safe. I love y'all. Bye-bye.